Hello! In this new video tutorial, we will introduce the Xbench integration with XTM Cloud, a web based localization platform. On the screen, you can see our translation project in XTM, and now we will open the file we are currently translating using the XTM editor. The translation is already finished and we need to run a QA on it. We have immediate access to Xbench by clicking on this QA icon on the left hand side and selecting the last menu option, Open Xbench. An XPPKG file is generated and it can be automatically opened as long as you have the right browser configuration. In Chrome, you should enable the option Always open files of this type. The translation file appears already loaded on the Xbench project as ongoing translation, ready for a quality check or any searches we wish. Let's run a QA. Here is the list of results. We have one inconsistency, one repeated word, and one typo. As usual, if we want to modify this segment, we just need to right-click and select Edit Segment or do Ctrl E, and Xbench will take us to that specific segment on XTM. The file needs to be open in the XTM editor. We make the necessary correction in XTM and then go back to Xbench. Next issue. We go straight to the segment and make the correction. And the same thing with the third issue. For a QA regression, you just need to call Xbench again from the XTM editor. As you can see, we fixed all errors. These are the requirements for the XTM integration. You need to have Xbench version 3.0, build 1434 or later. As for XTM, the Xbench feature is available starting from version 11.2. As simple as that, do not forget Xbench while working with XTM. See you soon!